quick tip. You can save your layout as a PDF from any Adobe Design program, and anyone with a free Acrobat Reader will be able to view it. PDFs are self-contained, so they won't need the original images nor the fonts, and yet they'll be able to see your design exactly as you created it. This comes in super handy, whether you're handing over final artwork to the printer, where they don't need to load in all the fonts and you won't need to worry about font substitution, or low-res artwork sent to the client for review. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Woo! Just click the link below. Here's how you do it. Ready? In Illustrator, you just come to File, Save As. In the Save As dialog box, here I'll go ahead and make this say underscore high. You can choose from the Format dropdown, Adobe PDF. When you click Save, in the Save Adobe PDF dialog box, you have the option under the Adobe PDF presets to choose smallest file size, Adobe PDF X1A, or these two which are basically equivalent, high quality print or press quality PDF. If you choose this high quality print, the defaults, such as under the compression, will be high res or 300 PPI for all of the artwork therein, such as photos. You can also set other options in the marks and bleed option to do trim marks, registration, color bars, or to have the page information such as the file name and time that you ripped the PDF. So if you want all of these, you can choose all printer marks. This will give the printer everything they need to print your PDF without having the native files. Lastly, you choose Save PDF and voila, your flyer is now in Acrobat. So anyone, even without Illustrator, can see your design. One last note, if you do choose from File Save As, in this case I'll say Low Res, we'll do a Low Res one. From Adobe PDF, you click Save. If from the presets you choose this option, the smallest file size, you can see the compression there is restricted to 100 PPI, perfect for most screen resolutions. And here you might not need those crop marks. This will allow your client to see your design without a huge file eating up their space. I deliver a low res PDF to the client for initial review. And that's how you do it. You choose save PDF. They might warn you about color spaces and downsizing it. You can just choose okay. So that's how you save a PDF, whether it's high or low res in Illustrator. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. Oh,